We've all seen them, mindlessly roaming the streets, loitering around your local quickie mart, or even just crowding the sidewalk. They're an interesting breed, obsessed to the point of absolute denial. And although they have one thing in common with the local skateboarding community, that's the love of the sport and the absolute inability to put the board down. They're known as the sidewalk scum of the earth, but we all call them posers. What to do. Uh, I first met Steve when we were about 13 years old. Uh, Steve the Curb McNilligan, as we called him. And uh, he was a really normal guy. Like, uh, we used to play hockey and stuff together all the time. And it was great, but uh, I remember when he was 14, for his 14th birthday, he got his first skateboard, and he was nuts about it. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a kid so crazy about something in my entire life, actually. I think for a while he was actually sleeping with his board, which his mom was kind of worried about. But then, uh, the next thing you know, we all have one. We're all skateboarding up the streets and stuff, and uh, after a couple months, we, we started getting pretty decent. Uh, we were moving along pretty nicely, and... Steve, Steve not so much, he, I don't know what it was, we just, at first, of course, we thought he was just a late bloomer, and maybe he'd pick it up a little later, but then, like, maybe two years later, or three years later after that, we were all getting it all right, like, it was something we did for a while now, but Steve was pretty much as good as he was the first day he got his board, which isn't saying much at all, um, but then, now, it's like, 13 years later, and we all have, like, I'm at my job right now, we have girlfriends, some of us are even married, and Steve still living at home with his mom, and all he wants to do is skateboard, that's all he's ever wanted to do, and you know, I just, I think it's gone way too far, I, I don't know how to tell him, he's just not any good, you know, so we don't, we don't tell him, and, uh, we just keep skateboarding. Hey, how's it going, Steve? Steven Nilligan here, skateboard pro. Um, I've been skating for years now. Uh, I've been skating since I was 14 years old. Long time. Uh, I was a pro from the second I stepped on the skateboard. Uh, never tried it before. All the cool kids were doing it. Thought I'd give it a shot. Next thing you know, it's all I did. It's all I knew. It's all I know. Oh, man. So I started doing demos just recently. Sent out a demo, didn't get any replies, don't think it was my fault. I had killer, killer material on there. I had kick flips, I had manuals, I had manual kick flips, I had kick flips with a manual while twisting into a pop shove it and grinding. That was a good one. So I got no calls, but I'm not worried. Probably something happened in the mail. Could have been anything. Anyways, working on a new demo, gonna be real, real good. We've been hitting the streets, we've been hitting my streets. Um, I'm a god in this city uh, for one main reason, and that's because I can ride. Uh, and when you can ride in this hood, it's the utmost respect. Um, I see posers out and around the streets, you know what I mean? But they're posers. You could tell they're posers by the clothes they wear, the things they say, the way they skate, more importantly, it's just too obvious. I rode in some of the meanest streets in southwestern Ontario. I've ridden. I won't even get into where I've ridden because you wouldn't even want to know half the places I've ridden. Um, like I was saying, working on a demo, working real hard. We're going to do it right this time. And the reason we're going to do it right is because we want people to know how serious we are and how skilled we and we I mean me, am. Does that make sense? No. 
people do respect me, and they respect me because I can skate, man. And it, if you can, if you can skate, you, you you can do anything in this world. And no, I'm not scared of anything. These are my streets. I started them. I'll finish them, and I'll ride the hell out of them until I'm done with them. And then I don't even care. But no, I'm not scared of anything. Not even street toughs. Are the street toughs here? I'm not scared of street toughs. There's none of them here. Eh? Um, but they kind of get in my way. They're on top skating. Yeah, dude. Yeah. What's going on, man? What's up? Sweet. Yeah. Chilling. Yeah, man. You land any new tricks lately? Yeah, man. What? I was about to tell you, I landed a kickflip yesterday, first time. Man. Oh, nice. Yeah, I saw man. Tony Hawk before. Did actually. you? Yeah, man. Sweet. I do that. Well, do that. You know, I just tried it for my first time, and it just worked. Nobody saw it. Nobody saw oh, yeah, it. But see you right now. No, because. I gotta get going soon. It's almost, I didn't wear my watch day, but it's almost two and I gotta get going. Yeah, right on. Yo, dude, street toughs. Get out of here. They, they just don't have respect for the work that I do, you know? And like, and maybe they have so much respect that they, that they want to be my friend. But if they want to be my friend, then you don't walk up to somebody and say, hey, I want to be your friend. Here's my iron, or here's my my billy club, or here's my here's my here's my kendo stick. You know, like I've seen it all. These guys are serious, and I'm serious too. But they're serious about the wrong things, and they, you know, and I don't know. I'm not scared of them. Some may say I run, but I run for the right reasons, not because I'm scared. I don't don't tell them I said any of this, but but. If they just asked me to be their friend, then I'd be their friend. Um, you know, they just, they're just so mean. And like, I ride, I ride full time, I'll ride till I die, but I'm a good guy first. I don't know man, we're trying a couple new tricks here and there, just playing Tony Hawk. <laughs>